has been gifted a worthwhile project by the Honorable Minister of Min Water Resources, Ganga Rejuvenation and River Development, Mr. Nitin Gadkarichi. And with us, we have the Secretary to Ministry of Water Resources, Sri U.P. Singh. So welcome. Thank you. So can you please tell our audience about today's project? Actually, as you know, when we talk of uh, pollution in River Ganga, uh, the first city which comes to our mind usually is Kanpur. Uh, Kanpur, because of the seaways, uh, pollution due to untreated seaways as well as uh, pollution due to untreated effluent coming mainly out of the industries which means standards in Kanpur actually. So we have been, Kanpur has been our focus actually. In fact very recently we have completed a diversion of uh, uh, 140 million litre per day of seaways, untreated seaways which was uh, flowing into the uh, river Ganga. We have diverted that, we have diverted 80 MLD of that to an existing sewage treatment plant at Bingama, which was underutilized. And very recently, we have also diverted 60 MLD of uh, uh, untreated sewage to uh, Jajmo to an STP, which was also underutilized. So 140 MLD in one stroke has been diverted. Similarly, now we are working basically on uh, industrial effluent, mainly coming out of tanneries. So for that, a project was sanctioned. It has been bidded out. Now technical bid was open. Financial bid has also been open. And by end of this month, we, ex we, we, we hope that we would be able to give the work order for uh, state of the art 20 MLD CETP, Common Affluent Treatment Plant for Tanneries. Now today's, today's project, basically today's uh, mm, uh, project is basically one step further in our process of reforms for sewage treatment because earlier as you all know projects were being constructed but often uh, complaint came that either these projects do not function well or capacity utilization is very poor, poor or the sewage which is coming out of it doesn't meet the affluent norms so first we started what is called a uh, hybrid annuity mode and that was basically to ensure a continuous uh, long term a proper performance of sewage infrastructure which is being set up actually. Now this is one step beyond hybrid annuity mode. This, would, this project also would be done under hybrid annuity mode but what this is a concept called one city one operator. Today in every city there are a plethora of people who are working for it. Some STP is being maintained by uh, UP Jalnigam, some by some private company, some other network is being maintained by uh, Kanpur Nagar Nigam. So there is, uh, it becomes very difficult to uh, pinpoint the responsibility or fix the responsibility. So under this project, there would be one operator who will take care of all the sewage infrastructure of Kanpur. They will build up new plants. They will also upgrade the existing, what is called a greenfield projects. And they will take the maintenance of both greenfield as well as uh, 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 brownfield projects which have been existing. Operation and maintenance of that on hybrid unity mode for 15 years would also be their responsibility. So when you talk about the mode of operation for this project, is it a completely a government project or there is a public private partnership going on? No, public private partnership automatic uh, comes in hybrid annuity mode because under hybrid annuity mode what happens that we initially, not initially, till commissioning we pay only 40% of the uh, capital expenditure and over next 15 years we pay balance 60 percent of the capex uh, along with interest and along with onm so right from the beginning uh, mm, the concessionaire puts in about 60 percent for uh, mm, uh, mm, 60 percent for the capex and we even he he, he does a design etc in a manner which would be uh, result into a better quality of products because he has to maintain this, operate and maintain this within the quoted price. So he would like to be making a project which is qualitatively much better because responsibility would be on him. So complete responsibility is on the player who is taking Yes, care. yes. And his payment is linked basically to the successful performance. Performance of the project. Yeah. So that's a very smart move taken from the government. Now talking about all the other projects that have come in the past couple of months or the past couple of years, the ministry has worked on the front foot and has taken every project with sheer determination. So what would you see right now? What is the current situation in terms of clean Ganga? What is the current situation? See, actually, uh, cleaning Ganga is a fairly complex process, actually. 
and in fact i always have been saying that it is not a one time process it is a continuous process because ganga is not like any other river in the world there is no other river in the world where 20 lakh people take bath every day there is no river where so much of a religious performance takes place cremation takes place so there is a lot of aspects of river cleaning actually so while it is easy to fix up a date for a uh, infrastructure project in terms of by when uh, stp would be completed and all but on other fronts whether it's a solid waste management whether it's a long term measures like a forestation biodiversity conservation then you have uh, things like to ensure adequate flow in the river because without adequate flow adequate flow in the river a uh, cleaning will not mean much so that's why you are aware that recently we have brought out uh, uh, what is called an e flow notification uh, in order to ensure a better flow in the river so there are number of aspects on which we are working and while we we, we hope that all the Mm, projects which are uh, mm, have been either under construction or we are just going to take up would get completed in a time bound manner but then there are certain activities which will have to continue to see the ganga in its prime uh, safe thank you very much thank you very much for your views sir so that was with us mr up singh the secretary for the ministry of water resources and this is akash shining off from today and you are watching wd news